Gentlemen, let's be real. Have you ever caught yourself wondering, how do those guys in adult films look so massive? Is there a secret? Why does my urine sometimes spray in two directions instead of straight? Or maybe you've asked yourself, why do I lose my erection the moment I start overthinking during sex? If you've asked any of these questions, you're not alone. In fact, these are three of the most common concerns men whisper about, but rarely feel comfortable bringing up with a doctor. Well, today, we're breaking the silence. I am Dr. Jocelyn Carter, a board-certified urologist with five years of experience helping men reclaim their confidence, vitality, and peace of mind. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through why performance anxiety can sabotage erections and how to take back control. The truth behind porn star size and the medical tricks some performers actually use. Why urine sometimes sprays or splits and what it could mean for your prostate and overall health. And make sure you watch until the end because I'll also share a step-by-step -step action plan, including daily habits, simple fixes, and science-backed options that can make a huge difference in your confidence and performance. Before we dive in, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button. It helps this channel reach more men who need real answers without shame. Comment below and let me know where you're watching from. I love seeing men from all over the world come together in this community. And of course, subscribe if you want more straight talking science backed health advice. All right, let's get started. Let's tackle the first elephant in the room. Erection problems caused by overthinking. Most men believe if you lose an erection, something is permanently wrong with your body. That's not true. In fact, a large percentage of young men who struggle with erections aren't dealing with a physical problem at all. It's psychological. It's called psychogenic erectile dysfunction. And here's how it happens. The first time your erection falters, it surprises you. The second time, you anticipate it. By the third time, you're so nervous about staying hard that your body shifts into fight or flight mode. Think about that. When you're in survival mode, your body prioritizes blood flow to your muscles and brain, not your genitals. Biologically, your nervous system is telling your penis, this isn't a safe time for sex. And just like that, the erection fades. It's not weakness. It's not a permanent flaw. It's simply your brain overriding your body. The truth, this cycle can be broken with the right approach. As a urologist, I see this constantly. Young men, middle-aged men, even older men, they come in terrified that one bad night means their sex life is over. But here's what research shows. About 87% of erectile dysfunction cases in younger men are linked to either psychological causes or early warning signs of cardiovascular health issues. The penis has some of the smallest arteries in the body, so changes there often appear before problems show up in the heart. That means two things. If you're under 40 and having regular issues, it's worth checking with your doctor, not because something is broken, but because your body may be sending you an early warning signal. If your heart and hormones check out, chances are it's performance anxiety, and that's fixable. Now, let's break down the three most common concerns men bring to me, one by one. Mistake number one, getting stuck in your head during sex. We've all been there. You want to perform, you want to please your partner, but the more you think about it, the less your body cooperates. Here's the biology. Erections depend on the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest mode. Anxiety flips you into the sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight mode. Those two systems can't dominate at the same time. If anxiety wins, arousal loses. Emotionally, this can feel devastating. You may start avoiding intimacy, making excuses, or feeling like you've lost your masculinity. Practically, here's what works. Remove the pressure. Focus on touch, kissing, and intimacy without penetration. Gradually reintroduce sexual activity once confidence rebuilds. Consider a short-term prescription of low-dose tetalafil, which doesn't create desire but can help maintain an erection while you retrain your mind and body. Remember, sex is about connection, not performance. Mistake number two, comparing yourself to porn stars. Let's be honest, most men at some point have compared themselves to what they see on screen. But here's the reality. Adult films are not biology, they're business. The average erect penis globally is 5.4 inches. 99% of men fall between 4.3 and 7.2 inches. So why do performers look so huge? Selection bias. Only men with above average size are cast. Camera tricks, angles, lighting, and editing exaggerate appearance. 
medical aids, some performers use vacuum pumps, traction devices, or even temporary dermal fillers to add girth. Medications, sildenafil or tadalafil, are sometimes used before shoots to guarantee stamina. In rare cases, penile implants, not for size but for function, allow them to switch on an erection at will. Biologically, your size has little to do with your ability to satisfy a partner. What matters most? Blood flow, confidence, and attentiveness. Emotionally, constantly comparing yourself chips away at self-esteem. Practically, it's like comparing your Sunday jog to the Olympics. It's just not the same playing field. Mistake number three, ignoring a split urine stream. Ever stood at the toilet only to have your stream split into two directions and hit the wall, the floor, and maybe even your socks? Embarrassing, yes, but also worth understanding. Here's the biology. The urethra is like a hose. If there's dried semen or mucus at the tip, it can temporarily block the opening. After ejaculation, residual fluid can linger, causing a split stream for the next one or two urinations. More concerning causes include benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, an enlarged prostate, or urethral strictures, where scarring narrows the passage. Emotionally, many men don't talk about this because they think it's just aging, but practically, if you notice a weak flow, hesitancy, dribbling, or frequent night urination, those are signs worth getting checked. Simple fix? Try sitting to urinate, especially first thing in the morning. In many European countries, this is common and makes the process more comfortable. So how do we turn all this information into action? For psychogenic ED, rule out medical causes with a basic checkup. Reduce anxiety by focusing on intimacy, not penetration. Use therapy or counseling to break the mental loop. Consider low-dose tadalafil as a short-term safety net. For size concerns, stop comparing yourself to unrealistic standards. Focus on fitness, circulation, and stamina, because what's good for your arteries is good for your erections. If interested, traction devices can produce modest improvements over time, but surgery carries risks and is not recommended for most men. For split stream or prostate symptoms, stay hydrated and empty your bladder fully. Track your urinary symptoms. Note changes in stream, frequency, or urgency. See a urologist if symptoms persist. It could be a sign of BPH, which has effective treatments. And if you want a science-backed way to support prostate health, I recommend a daily supplement with ingredients like saw palmetto, pygium, green tea, and nettle root, shown to reduce inflammation and improve urinary flow. I've linked a trusted option in the description below. And now, let me pause here and tell you something important. If you've struggled with erections, worried about your size, or felt embarrassed by urinary changes, you are not broken. You are not less of a man. Every one of these issues is common. They're not signs of weakness, but signs that your body is asking for care, attention, and understanding. Gentlemen, age is not the end of vitality. Small, consistent changes, checking your health, improving your circulation, breaking the cycle of anxiety, supporting your prostate, these can bring back comfort, freedom, and confidence. Your body is adaptable, your mind is resilient, and your masculinity is not measured by inches, by streams, or by performance. It's measured by your willingness to care for yourself and connect with others authentically. So here's your challenge. Leave a comment below, what's one healthy habit you're starting this week to support your body and mind? Hit like if this gave you clarity. Subscribe so you don't miss the next episode in this men's health series. And remember, gentlemen, you are worth the effort. Take care of your body, guard your health, and never let shame silence you. I'm Dr. Jocelyn Carter, and I'll see you in the next video.